Hi, everybody. Welcome to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and in this hour, we're going to be having a speaking class, and you guys are going to be practicing speaking in the past tense. So we're going to talk about uh, the different ways that you can use the past tense um, first before we begin, and then we're going to be talking um, telling stories in the past tense. And I'm going to be helping you to make sure that you are using the correct verb uh, tenses when you are talking. So it's a very important skill to have because this is basically the tense that you use anytime you want to talk about something that happened before now. So if it happened earlier this morning or last night or two years ago, it doesn't really matter. You're going to be using this way of speaking so it helps you uh, have better language and you move to a higher skill level that way when you can master this tense um, if you have a reservation for this hour of course you can go ahead and use your reservation now if you don't have a reservation then just wait a couple of minutes and then you will see the join class button and when you see the join class button up there at the top, then you can join the class. Of course, you do have to be uh, a Verbling.com member to be able to join uh, Verbling classes. But you can also buy some tickets to classes if you, if you aren't sure how many classes you're going to be able to take. You can just um, purchase 10 at a time and see if you use them. Another thing you can do is uh, try the free membership. So if you want to try the free uh, trial uh, membership, you can do that as well for seven days. And then that way you can see whether or not you're going to be able to use the service and what types of classes you like to take and, and all of that. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that um, any time you just have to sign up for the free trial uh, we do use the Google Google Hangouts here so you do have to have a Gmail account and then you'll be able to to join us hey Claudio welcome hey Lisa how are you I'm doing well how are you doing I'm doing great I think <laughs> <laughs> Good. How, how is how is Coursera uh, how is your Coursera uh, course, my course, uh, Sarah class hasn't started yet. I think it starts um, in like two days or something like that. So um, I'm you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think I haven't received an email yet. I mean, I have received uh, several emails, <laughs> but I wasn't uh, paying attention to them <laughs> very closely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Have, you, have you ever taken a Coursera class? No, but I want to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I've been I've been working so hard uh, this last uh, past this last year. So, but uh -huh. I I was talking to Chao Chao yeah. the, the other day. I'm uh, hey. he he seems uh, so into it. Uh, so <laughs> so they they struck me uh, as interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, in fact, I can give you the link to the one that I'm going to be taking. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting. I just read this uh, lady's book, which was specifically about um, learning, how, you know, how to learn math and science. So I am, my two older sons are in high school right now, and so, you know, to help them in their math and science, but also just in terms of helping my own students and learning in general. So that's the the course uh, for that, or that's the link right there in the Verbling chat. Mm -hmm. But I know Chow uh, has taken several. In that video that I uh, put on my wall, he showed all of his certificates <laughs> of all the classes. <laughs> so another place uh, where I've taken some classes, and um, hi, Amparo, I see you joined us. Welcome. We're just getting started here. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Have you ever taken a Coursera class? Ampero? You know what? what? No. no, no. I'll, I'll no. share. Uh, no, this is a really good resource, especially for people who, uh, you know, these are college level courses and they're free. 
basically. And um, so this is a course that I signed up for, which is going to start um, on the 3rd, which I guess is Friday. And it's from sponsored by UC San Diego, so that's University of California, San Diego. And the, so the idea is um, you sign up, it's free. You can also pay if you want to get like some credit or a certificate or something. Um, and then they give you the course outline, things that you're going to be learning. You're going to have videos to watch. Uh, there's some like uh, little tasks you can do, quizzes to check your learning, things like that. Um, so it works really well. And that's just one. There's lots of different uh, courses, different topics, things like that. Uh, you know, you can see there's different languages that courses are being offered um, in. Another one that I like, and I'll tell you guys real quick because you might, both of you might be interested in um, another one of these is um, EdX. Why isn't it going there? All right, let's see. edX.org uh, is another place where they have these, uh, they're called the MOOC, multi, uh, multi, what is it called? Massive online uh, classes, whatever. And you have different topics. And uh, I think these are mostly all in English. But some, I think I signed up for one in French. And they come from schools like Harvard and Berkeley and Texas. I, I'm signed up for one that's like global economy right now. And things like that. And you can kind of just do them at your own pace. So uh, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, really, really amazing. And so for somebody like Chow, who uh, has, he's been taking advantage of these because, you know, he's a pretty studious guy. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, you can take them at your own pace. So like each week a lesson gets released and then you have readings, videos to watch, maybe something to listen to or something, and then maybe something to do. And then it's really up to you to learn however much you want kind of thing, you know? So, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome, you guys. This is a, um, a class where we're going to be using the past tense, which I think for you two is not a problem. <laughs> so sometimes some students have a hard time using the past tense Usually, um, you know, more beginning students and lower intermediate students tend to stay in the present when they're talking about things. And, you know, as you get to a higher level, you can use different tenses of verbs. And so one of them, of course, that is used a lot when speaking is the past. And we have four different uh, types, you know, four different past tense forms. And uh, the, the one we use the most, especially here in the U.S., it's just the simple past. You know, yesterday I worked. Yesterday I talked to my friend. Yesterday I ate pizza for lunch. Something like that. That's simple. Uh, another one very common is I was. You know, I was working yesterday. Uh, and then you might describe something that happened or whatever. I think in England they use more I had worked and I had been. And we use it too. Uh, but especially in writing. And when, you're, when your story gets a little more... Uh, complicated about wh what happened when, you know, in the past. But these are the two most common ones. So what I was going to do for you guys uh, today is we could just um, practice using those by having you guys tell some stories. So the idea was to tell a story using the past tense. And I don't mean you have to make up a story. This just means like a story about something you are familiar with, something that happened to you, something that maybe happened in your country or just something that you already know about it. You don't have to create it um, from your imagination, although you could if you wanted to. Um, and it's just to practice using the past tense in the in a correct way. Um, so you can it can be about something that happened to you earlier today, yesterday, last week, or you know, ten years ago or more. And the only thing is is that we just want to use the past tense. So uh -huh. Does that make sense? Pretty simple. Uh, I, 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 I still do, doing that mistake. <laughs> Mixing up <laughs> really? tenses when when talking, uh -huh. uh, then I afterwards I, I realized that I was like sounding like uh, Tarzan or something. <laughs> 
Well, there's a problem in so that you are is, speaking. I'll always stop that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Amparo? It's, it's who you're speaking with? What? Yes, when when I am speaking, uh, sometimes I, I made a mistake. Uh, but when I am writing, it's different because uh, well, I have the more time to much time to to look the, the words, and I know that it, it is wrong. But when I am, I am speaking, sometimes I, yes, I I just use the the wrong the, the tense. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's totally uh, normal and natural, and, and that's part of what we call, you know, the learning process or the development of language. So, um, you know, some people, what's interesting and what I've been talking to some of my more advanced students lately is this idea that when you're learning anything really, but especially with language you can see it, um, sometimes you, in the beginning, you have a lot of growth. So you have a lot of, you're learning vocabulary words, you're learning, you know, how to say things. Um, usually you learn in the present to begin with, um, and there's a, a lot of growth in the very beginning. And then you kind of hit what we call a plateau. So a plateau is like a flat, flat uh, face, <laughs> I guess, a, a flat position. And... Um, I'm going to use my hand so I can make sure you guys understand. <laughs> so put it back me. Okay. Hi, Ken. Welcome. Yes, hello. Hi. So we're just starting, and I'm kind of talking a little bit about uh, the idea of a past tense, and mm -hmm. both Claudio and Amparo just mentioned that they do have trouble sometimes uh, staying in the past tense. So uh, maybe switching back and forth probably is what you guys do. You start off in the past tense and then maybe you go back to the present or something when you're telling a story that happened to you uh, in the past, for example. Mm -hmm. And so I was just talking about this idea that in language learning we have a lot of growth in the beginning and then we reach like a plateau where maybe mm -hmm. it seems like we're not really improving mm -hmm. very much. Mm -hmm. We're saying the same thing over and over again, mm -hmm. making the same mistakes, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so once you're at a, you know, like you guys are at a more advanced, higher level, uh, there's a certain plateau that you can reach, but if you want to go beyond that, then it's like the fine-tuning, you know, just like in your own language, mm -hmm. uh, just mm -hmm. by living and, and growing up in Japan, for example, you know mm -hmm. Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. And you're good at Japanese and you can say a lot of things in Japanese, but if you wanted to be able to go to even a higher level, especially like in a specific um, uh, topic area, for example, like technology or like Claudio with law or medicine or something like that, you would mm -hmm. actually have to study. You would actually mm -hmm. have to figure out where are my weak points and what do I have to do to improve. So it's actually another learning process that takes you beyond your current level. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, and so the idea that I want to help you guys start doing is going beyond that level where you are so that you feel like when you're going to the verbaling classes, instead of just kind of, you know, hearing the same things and talking about the same things in the same way, you can push, uh, we call it your edges. So your edges is like, you know, here's all the things you've learned so far, and here's your edge. And beyond that, you don't know yet. So you mm -hmm. want to keep pushing farther out so that your edges go farther out so that you're learning more and more all the time. Mm -hmm. And learning doesn't necessarily mean like you're learning 100 new vocabulary words a week. It might be that you're, you're finally realizing that, oh, I always make this same mistake, and now... I'm going to work on that specific thing and pay attention to it, and then, you know, in a week or something, you notice, okay, I don't make that mistake anymore. <laughs> and you've mastered that particular construction or expression or whatever it is that you're trying to master, like prepositions, things like that, you know. Okay, that's my, my little uh, speech for you guys. <laughs> so the idea is to give you practice to do this, because one thing is to realize uh, what you do, Another thing is to try to fix it, but then ultimately it's like quizzing yourself. Have I really mastered that uh, concept yet or that construction or that verb usage or whatever it is that you're working on? So today 
I just want to work on this very uh, narrowly, this idea of uh, the past tense. And so we were saying, usually here in the United States, these are the two most common. When you're just, you know, everyday language, talking about things, uh, you use the past simple or what we call the past continuous. I don't necessarily think it's really important for people to remember the names of all these things, although some people are quite good at grammar. They like terms and things. What's more important is that you know how to make it <laughs> and that you know how to use it. So uh, whether or not you know that this is called the past continuous is not so important in real life as compared to whether or not you use it correctly. So that's really what I would like uh, to focus on. All right, so in order to do that, you guys are going to be telling some stories in the past tense. Okay? Now, I want to just say to you, Ken, because you just joined us, um, you don't have to make up a story. It's kind of like yesterday when we were just uh, talking about something in your life and you were talking about the that crazy lady. What was her name? Hatsune Miku. Hatsune? Uh, ha Hatsune Miku, yes. <laughs> Hatsune Miku, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I asked another Japanese student of mine, but she's been living here in the United States for 17 years, so she uh, she didn't quite know about it. So it's really, it must be really popular in Japan, though. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, it's like that. So, Claudia, why don't we go ahead and start with you? If if somebody might join us, so if other people join us, that's fine too. So if anybody's watching and you want to join us. But if it just stays at three people, then that's kind of nice for a speaking class because then you get a lot more airplay, a lot more time to, to practice and say things. So, Claudio, think of something you want to tell us uh, that happened to you or, you know, that happened to your, in your country, whatever it is that you want to say in the past, and uh, we're going to help you. So maybe you guys, uh, Amparo and Ken, can mm -hmm. also be listening to see... Uh, we don't want to make you nervous, Claudio, but we are going to be paying attention to your verb tenses. <laughs> so. I am so nervous right now. <laughs> are you really? No. <laughs> okay, good. Don't be nervous. We're your friends. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All well, right. I'm, I'm going to uh, talk to you about uh, something that happened to me about uh, two weeks ago. Okay. I went to something in Spanish we call uh, spiritual retreat. Spiritual, spiritual retreat. Retreat. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I'll, do, uh, I'll just take notes here. So anything that you got that you might say, I'll instead of on the verb link chat. Sometimes it's not working for people, and here this way people can see it. So, okay, go ahead. You went to a spiritual retreat. Okay. Yeah, spiritual retreat mm -hmm. uh, with a group uh, of friends. Um, Mm -hmm. We uh, are used to practice yoga and things like that. Mm -hmm. And this, in, in this spiritual retreat, we practice some. We practiced uh, some. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Buddhist techniques for focusing, focusing your mind. And oh, okay. In you know, in in the city life and. Uh, Everyday uh, business life and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Well, so something uh, very interesting we do is uh, was uh, to stay quiet the whole weekend. It, it was uh, for a weekend. Okay. Uh, we, we we couldn't say a word. Uh, we couldn't use our word our mm -hmm. words uh, to communicate mm -hmm. between us. You know. Mm hmm. Um. Uh, but uh, we ca we couldn't uh, use uh, our eyes or gestures. Mm. It was a uh, communication was completely uh, forbidden. Wow. For us. Um, and well, that that's when the retreat begins. Uh, okay. Because we 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 we, yeah. we we had a something like like a, a mentor mm -hmm. that was speaking to us the whole time. Yeah. This is not a cult or something like this. <laughs> I know that, that this <laughs> might sound like that. <laughs> this is not. Okay. 
it is a mentor, but it's like a friend. It's uh, just a friend. Of us. Like uh, a teacher or something, maybe? Yeah, a teacher, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a close. <laughs> Okay. So, he, wasn't, so, he wasn't going to make you drink any Kool Aid or anything. <laughs> yeah, no, no n <laughs> neither commit suicide or something. Exactly. <laughs> well, the thing is, we we weren't in in the city. Uh, we weren't in the. We were uh -huh. at the, the nature or we in were... the outside of the in the outskirts of the city. Okay, we were on the outskirts. Uh huh. Outskirts, outskirts, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in this weekend, because uh, we we couldn't talk to, to each other, mm -hmm. um, we had this uh, moments when we just uh, go uh, to the nature. Uh, okay. Yeah. Outside in nature. Okay, you went into nature. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. For a for a walk, for a stroll. Uh, okay. Yeah. And it was less something like like a med meditation uh, while walk, walk, walking. Yeah, uh, we have a know, walking meditation. That's a word. Uh -huh, that walking meditation. Mm -hmm. And you felt uh, like connected with nature, and it, it was a really special uh, mm -hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. And the uh, food. Was also restricted. Okay. Because uh, we didn't, we didn't do, uh, we didn't make made uh, our food. No, we didn't make. <laughs> yes, yeah, we didn't right. make. <laughs> yeah. Our own food. It, it was. Uh, okay. It was uh, provided. Or yeah, provided, provided okay. for okay. the teacher, the, the, the friends who was uh, playing oh. the the part of the teacher. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't have to worry about the the food. Okay. That that was the the idea. Yeah. Our uh, our only focus was, you know, uh, to be with the nature. Right. Okay. And to be, to be one with nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a too deep or something like <laughs> contrite. <laughs> well. You can say that. Okay, that's fine. To be one. Um, by the end of this weekend, mm -hmm. or this weekend, uh, it was, and um, we we finally uh, could uh, talk to each other. Mm -hmm. It was funny because uh, we realized that the most most of the thing of the things that we yeah. say mm -hmm. every day. Yeah, are are not actually necessary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Uh, we d we didn't uh, know we didn't know uh, what 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 to actually say when when we could because uh, ah. <laughs> there was yeah. well, it wasn't necessary. Uh huh. And that yeah, well, it was a moment when it all had uh, somehow. May made sense for us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, considering you're telling the story in an English class where I'm trying to get you to talk <laughs> about something, <laughs> yeah. you realize there's nothing important to say. <laughs> That's funny. That's not a good language learning retreat. <laughs> Sorry, students. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, did you have any um, realizations or epiphanies other than the fact that maybe it's not so important to say things during the day? Like a lot of what we say is just, I don't know what. To... I, 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 I had indeed, but. Yeah, I, I I would like to to keep it uh, to keep them uh, for okay. myself. Okay, uh, sure. You know, uh huh. I understand. Yeah. It it wasn't a proper epiphany. Uh huh. <laughs> but it's well, some, you realize. Some realizations, yeah. Yeah, realizations. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You could say. Okay. Nice. Was um was that the first time that you had done that? 
Mm, yes. Okay. Cool. And would would you do it again? Mm, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I have what emotion. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like it. He's not convinced. Not totally convinced. Not next weekend. <laughs> uh, no, because it's, it's it's hard to you know. Yeah. It's not easy to 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 stay quiet <laughs> for a whole weekend. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Mm. Very not for, not not for me uh, being a, a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, also uh, today for this part, you guys, if Ampro or Ken, if you guys want to ask Claudio something, or you can if you want to come into the conversation. So it's more like a conversation rather than just mm -hmm. taking turns. Did you feel something different after being quiet for? Two days. Absolutely, uh, you felt like mm, uh, you lost uh, you know, twenty kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> you feel you feel lighter. Feel, I felt like yeah, you can say I felt lighter. Yeah. I felt lighter. Yeah. Huh? Like like sometimes we say after we say that I, I felt lighter. We sometimes say like a weight had been lifted and sometimes we say off my shoulders or something like that but mm -hmm. kind of just depends what physically yeah. like they one. have been lifted away um, so away let me think I felt lighter Physi like a physically yeah. physically and mentally lighter okay. okay physically and mentally lighter yeah well uh, I think this this, this this kind of thing sh should be taught in schools. Uh, the connection with nature and and to to have the, this kind of s space, uh, you know, to just to to think to think and to meditate and to 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 forget uh, uh, all the daily life. Mm -hmm. Rush. What did it feel like uh, to connect nature? What exactly feel like you know, kind of you melt into the nature, or yeah, yeah, I, you, you can't you can't explain it uh, by uh -huh. kind of feeling. You have uh -huh. to you have to do it by by yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to live it. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Experience it yourself. <laughs> yeah, you can say it must be experienced rather uh, than explained. You could say mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, something that may I be difficult to explain. Yeah, Ken? Sometimes I feel uh, when I was swimming uh, in, the, in the ocean, uh -huh. uh, my sense is, is more kind of, how can I say? Uh, I maybe. Uh, it stimulates more senses than usual situation. I mean, the water and wave, uh -huh. the sound of the wave. Your senses are heightened. Heightened, yeah. Yeah. Heightened, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you feel some, 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 uh, some, something like that? Uh huh. Yes. Like Absolutely. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, as you know, that there are uh, some things that uh, you you can't just. Put it in, into words. Uh, it's like um, you know, to, trying to to depict a uh, cathedral by saying that it's uh, a lot of bricks put uh, <laughs> yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's more like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. no, not even a poet uh, could do it uh, properly. Mm. Although they try. You know, <laughs> they, <laughs> they try. try. <laughs> <laughs> they try. Uh, yeah. Well, it's probably a a very personal. Experience like every person has their unique experience of that time period, that moment. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, Claudio. So yeah. So um, the thing that I was doing. So I think most of the time you did did fine. You were using the past tense. N now and then you switched, but it, maybe it only happened a couple of times. 
and it wasn't a, a big deal. But I was just uh, pulling out some of the times when you were using uh, the past tense, just so people can see and we can we can see how this is working here. So, yeah, good job. Uh, Thank you. I wanted to tell you that um, I know a couple of people who have done similar things, and I was at a retreat, a Buddhist retreat, a long time ago with Thich Nhat Hanh in France. And mm, we, wow. Yeah, we didn't have to be silent for the whole time, but there were it was mostly silent, and we had mm -hmm. we did walking meditation and uh, work meditation and uh, eating in silence and yeah, all that mm -hmm. type of stuff. So it's definitely a, a nice experience to have. And here there is even a uh, I forget which which religion or what, what you know what meditation practice it is, but it's a uh -huh. meditation practice where the ten day silent retreat. <laughs> so I have some people, I have some friends who have successfully completed all 10 days and one friend who I think he did about half <laughs> but he couldn't make the whole 10 days. But that's uh -huh. pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a different uh, experience to, to, to live, a, to, mm -hmm. to have, mm -hmm. to try yeah. new things. <laughs> yeah. And no technology or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that even that's uh, hard hard nowadays. <laughs> uh -huh, absolutely. Yeah. And the, the thing is that there's no an actual religion involved. Yeah. Sure. Uh, there's something beyond a, a particular religion. Mm -hmm. uh, the technique is might be Buddhist, but it, it it doesn't demand you to to follow. A particular, any particular religion. It's not about like a belief system or a world view, or well, maybe, but not uh, a not religious uh, precepts or something like that. Maybe. Okay, I understand. Uh -huh. It's a practice. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Amparo, why don't you uh, tell us something using the past tense? And while you're talking, I'll pull out some things that you say also in the past and just make note of them. Well, for, uh, today is September 30th. 30th. Um, uh, four years ago, we have a, a, a problem here in my country, mm -hmm. a crisis that uh, started when the, the police was uh, against a, a law that's supposed to um, reduce some benefits that they had, mm. and then then it uh, start. Um, this uh, start uh, a meeting, um, uh, and then uh, when they decide not to to protect the, the country mm -hmm. and work that day, uh, the, it was a chaos around the country, mm -hmm. and it started uh, a lot of riots in every every city. Mm. Um, it was a chaos. Uh, we didn't have um, the the local uh, news just. The, the news that the the, the government showed mm -hmm. um, the the president it was supposed to go to to speak uh, with the the uh, authorities of the police and in that uh, in that reunion mm -hmm. he was attacked with gas wow and <laughs> that's so dramatic yes, and <laughs> yes so dramatic and then uh, so he was a uh, he was a uh, Send to the send into the hospital, the police hospital. Okay. But then the situation changed, and, and the authorities the, of the government said that the the president was kidnapped, mm. um, and the situation uh, just uh, changed a lot. Everyone uh, was uh, running to their uh, headed to the to the the houses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because um, you cannot find a, a, a police uh, around the country. Wow! So it was uh, an opportunity for yeah, it was uh, the opportunity for people to just uh, to go uh, to open the stores to rob the things uh, in, in in the stores. Wow! Um, not just food. Uh -huh. Not just food. If yeah. People was um, looking for a license or something like that. Um, we didn't ha uh, know too much because uh, 
for example, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all of them were down. Oh. Um, we we the the only signal that we received was the signal from the the this the the channel from the state, uh -huh. um, the the part uh, that they said. But people around the the city that they were heading to the to the the houses, they said that people was crowded uh, the in 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 poor neighborhood it was really chaos because nobody can protect you you can be a robber mm -hmm. um, even when people they were in uh, a thief or something yeah. because uh, they they try to 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 take advantage of the situation mm -hmm. and they took uh, yeah they also took uh, some license um, uh, for example bottles of or the soda or something like that. It wow, was, chaos! It was, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, a uh, chaos. Uh, yeah, um, it, everyone was uh, uh, scared because you don't know um, what could happen right. uh, during the, because we didn't know too much when uh, a channel tried to 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 send a message or something. The, the authorities from the government said that the 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 channel were trying to to be a part of this uh, attempt to to remove mm. the president from the, the charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, unfortunately, like in this uh, in this situation, when the the uh, army yeah. tried to rescue the president from the hospital, mm -hmm. there was a, a lot of shots, and yes, uh, they 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 killed about uh, I think ten people died that, that day. Wow, um, and it was very dramatic when we we can see on television the moment that the guy was just shot mm -hmm. and he 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 died in the middle of the of the the street when the 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 military wow. tried to yeah. rescue the president. Uh, today, just four days, four years uh -huh. uh, of that celebration and this. Every year, uh, the president said that uh, finally we can uh, 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 we can win, and the mm -hmm. democracy is still uh, um, in our country. And he he <laughs> he wasn't removed um, mm. of the charge that he was elected. Mm. So okay, so this this is uh, Rafael Correa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's the president. Is he still the president? Yes, he is still the president. He is in charge since uh, seven years now. Oh, okay. Because in the first in, in the first period, he he just um, changed the the constitution. Oh, okay. So in that way, he could be uh, he, he was able to be reelected. Okay. So how long mm -hmm. how long will he be able to be reelected? Well, uh, two periods. Two. Okay. So mm -hmm. we have him, uh, the same president until 2017. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this, um, I'm reading a little bit about it. What you're talking about, it shows um, on Wikipedia. As you're talking, I was looking at um, the 2010 Ecuador crisis. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what they're calling it. So it was basically here they say they referred to the events as an attempted coup d'etat. So the police was trying to take over the government. Is that how you understand it? Or that is supposed to be, but uh, I don't know. Uh, it is, it's a really strange situation because uh, uh, people who, was, uh, who were working at the hospital said that uh, it, it, the 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 version of the government it, it wasn't true mm. that the, the 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 president um, never wa uh, was uh, kidnapped. Just he was oh. uh, he he was just uh, inside the hospital with all the attention. Uh, he mm. was receiving he receiving more uh, people from the government. Mm -hmm. And it, it was just a, a manipulation, but oh. we don't know. We don't know the truth because you know uh, when they they prohibit the the, the uh, private uh, channels to cover the, the the history 
So uh -huh. you can you never know do you, what is it true. Do you know why the police were doing what they were doing? Were they against what, him or no? Yeah. No, at the beginning it was because they 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 was reclaimed for some benefit that it, in the new law they they say that they they were um, what use uh, some benefits that they had. Yeah, okay, uh huh. Mm -hmm. But uh, the president said that it was just an excuse. Uh, 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 that the all uh, behind the the police attitude was a, a, a lot of uh, enemies from the. Another party, party. Uh, they, okay. uh, they try to just remove the president, and it was the the opportunity to do it. Um, that is why there there were some uh, some people that were under trial after the after the situation. Mm -hmm. mm. So mm. what's what's the situation now? Four years later, between the government, the president, and the police force, do they? Work they together, or okay. yes, yes, they are working together. Uh, um, you know, when they they negotiate with also with the 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 army and the navy, because uh, uh, for example, one of them is in charge of the 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 oil, the other is in charge of the the highways around the country. Mm -hmm. So in that way, uh, everyone is is happy. Okay. <laughs> uh, so he he is going to be sure in in the power. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So as it is right now in Ecuador, it's peaceful, and the cops, the police, are are still protecting people and doing their job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. For, what, that that day that it was a chaos. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just that time it happened. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. But nobody really knows exactly what happened or why. No. Uh, no. no. Uh huh. It's going to be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might write a book twenty years from yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, but it, for example, um, there was a, a newspaper here that is against the the, the government. Uh huh. Um, there was a man uh, from this paper that wrote that the, the president was the the responsible for the uh, this uh, death. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, the 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 man was demanded, and now the the man who ran away to the United States, he is not living here anymore. And the the uh, the government was about to close this newspaper. Oh, okay. So because of that, uh, because of that, uh, just the the man de decide to to go away. To go away. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. And, that is the the but the the, the event that, uh, about that uh, mm -hmm. the the president uh, have uh, <laughs> a little trouble with uh, this this newspaper and mm -hmm. from time to time they receive some uh, fines yeah for something that they they they, they wrote uh, oh, okay. against the government mm -hmm. yeah. So do you think that when it's time for uh, elections that the president will step down and allow the elections to happen or do you think he'll try to go longer time go for a longer time the second option i think <laughs> the latter okay yeah. at first he when he was elected he said uh, i am no one i don't want to be in power uh, for a long time i i think that is insane because uh, we need <laughs> to to change yeah and now he changed the speech and he uh. said uh, uh, there are bad uh, bad uh, politicians so yeah. uh, you should uh, uh, choose the the best uh, mm. in between uh, I, yeah so Among he's kind of like, I am, yeah. I am, yeah, it's kind of like, I am the best, I am the yes. save, savior mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yes, yeah. exactly. So Nobody can do the job that I can do. Yeah. Okay. We are in danger. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I just read this book. I'm going to tell you guys about it really quickly, and then, Ken, you'll have your turn. It's, it's an interesting book. Um, uh, it's by the lady that I'm taking that Coursera class from, Claudia. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you the website if you're interested. The website's not so great, um, but the book, if I'll show it to you on uh, Amazon, it's interesting uh, because she's dealing with this kind of idea that uh, 
It's called Evil Genes, Why Rome Fell, Hitler Rose, Enron Failed, and My Sister Stole My Mother's Boyfriend. <laughs> so <laughs> she's a scientist, and she it, there's quite a bit of like neuroscience in it, but it's also the stories of, you know, kind of like these people who have kind of uh, psychopathic tendencies and, you know, borderline personality and how they get into power and why and uh, and what they're doing. And so it's really interesting because when you look back at least on history and you think of people like Hitler, Stalin, Mao Zedong, uh, people who were in power for a while and they did these uh, very crazy things uh, which caused a lot of harm for a lot of people, in their own lives they were very... Um, crazy you know like they had these personalities and when you talk about Ecuador and this guy which I don't know much about him but that's kind of the idea you know when uh, you, you narcissistic you know you're the one you want that attention you think you know you just have all these different ways of thinking and and it's it's still unclear like is this from nurture you know by the way you grew up or is it nature because of your genes and your brain chemistry and your brain structures and you know what leads an individual person to have these kind of personalities that uh, do these things some of um, not all these personalities get to be leaders but a lot of them do and then of course every day pretty much on Verbling we talk about corruption in the world and especially in politics so it's really an interesting uh, Thing. You might like that uh, book, uh, Claudio, <laughs> since you kind of deal with people like that in the, in as a lawyer kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll check check it out. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay. It's an interesting read. Okay, Ken, what would you like to tell us about something that happened in the past? Okay. Uh, did I tell you about uh, my UFO story? No, I okay. haven't heard the UFO story. <laughs> <laughs> it happened more than 10 years ago. Mm. And at that time, uh, I, I was go uh, I um, I commute uh, commuted uh -huh. to swimming school by what bicycle. School? Uh, swim, swimming. Swim oh, school. okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Swimming school by bicycle. Mm -hmm. and it took uh, 20 minutes okay. or so, mm -hmm. and usually I came back from that swimming school at mm -hmm. night, mm -hmm. and one day uh, on the way home to my home, mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, it was a bit cloudy sky. Mm -hmm. mm. And I found small shiny dot on the sky, in the sky. You saw a small shiny dot. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So I thought it was helicopter or mm -hmm. jet plane, jet uh, airplane. Yeah. However, the movement of that small dot was very strange. Mm. Usually, airplanes or helicopter, flying object fly uh, straight. Mm, yeah, they fly straight. Okay. But uh, that small dot move at randomly. Moved at randomly. Oh, kind of like just here, then th like zigzaggy kind of thing or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and there, <laughs> go back, go back, go back. yeah. It, it, it was like an uh, uh, exact image I pictured about UFO. I saw some films yeah. or documentary on the TV, and it, it was, I felt it was strange because uh, flying objects should, should have uh, gone straight. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is a human made, it mm -hmm. was human made. Yeah, yeah. So I uh, thought, wow, UFO exists exists in the world. 
Ah, uh-huh. So many people's uh, story were true. Stories were true. <laughs> yeah. So I w- was very excited about that. <laughs> and I I was thinking about UFO. What uh, uh, what I found, and I uh, regretted a bit. I mm. doubted other people's story watching UFO. Oh, okay. It could be true. Yeah. Because I watched it. <laughs> did um, mm-hmm. did you check to see if anybody else had seen the same thing? No, actually, because mm-hmm. I forgot I might have told that story mm-hmm. to my families, but I totally forgot about that. Yeah. And because it's late at night, so at that, at that time I I didn't have uh, internet access. Mm. I, I didn't have Skype. Yeah. Uh, I didn't find no uh, anybody to fi- uh, talk with. Oh, okay. Or yeah. maybe uh, I didn't want to talk uh, with that because maybe nobody uh, believed my story. Uh huh. Yeah. But, yeah. And uh, I slept. And and I wo- uh, I woke woke up yeah. next morning mm-hmm. and I at that time I I was reading newspaper in the morning yeah I subscribed newspaper mm-hmm. and my family subscribed subscribed newspaper and mm-hmm. I found a small news article a UFO incident happened in my town. <laughs> Many many people called police to confirm the, that what is what what the, uh, what is this? Uh-huh. It's, it's a one small dot. It was a one small dot. So, mm-hmm. so in the paper you read mm-hmm. that people had called it because they had seen the same thing. Yes. Oh. So okay. I was not only one. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and and was there. Was there a response in the newspaper? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, sometimes uh, the government will come mm-hmm. in and say things like, "Oh, well, we were just testing mm-hmm. something." Yes, and news articles said, "Yeah, it was a searchlight from a newly opened uh, pachinko parlor." <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's, pachinko is a kind of gamble. Right, uh, slot so machine thing, yeah. Yeah, in order to promote the, maybe the location, <laughs> they <laughs> light up the sky, and <laughs> that such light reflects in, into the cloudy <laughs> sky. So it was really like looked like uh, exactly like a UFO image. <laughs> so many people misunderstood about about that as UFO. So. Then what did you think after you read that? Uh, I felt a bit disappointed, yeah. but I, I felt relief because I I could confirm what is it, what was it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But did that make you change your mind then back to mm-hmm. doubting other people's UFO stories, or now do you think it's mm-hmm. still a possibility? Maybe after that I began to think mm-hmm. more story uh, <laughs> kind of uh, se- similar thing happened to somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of because it was very real to me at, at that moment. Yeah. So maybe yeah, misunderstood thing often happened mm-hmm. to that phenomenon. I don't yeah. know one hundred percent or how many percent, but uh, in most cases, yeah. It, Seems it seems like misunderstanding <laughs> of something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder. Yeah, there. Um, I don't personally know too much about UFOs, and I've never seen one. But a lot of people really say they have, and they, you know, they're pretty convinced. I don't know what Amparo or Claudio. Have you guys ever seen any UFOs or known anybody who has? 
No, I haven't seen. I I have seen one. You have? Where? Yeah. When I was little, it, it was like a like a line in, mm. in, in the sky making a funny movement movements. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. That could, couldn't possibly be, uh, you know, an airplane or or a helicopter. Uh huh. It has to be. It had, <laughs> had, had, had to be. Had to be had it to had be. to be. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a believer. Uh, you're a believer. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be a UFO. Yeah. Amparo, do you think UFOs exist? I have my doubt. <laughs> good, good answer. <laughs> That's very diplomatic. <laughs> I don't know. I but think usually, it, usually yeah. in Chile, uh, there is a lot of people. There are a lot of people that say they they has, has saw. They have seen, yeah. Seen, they have seen the. Uh huh. There yeah. are a place, yeah. That usually people go. Like a certain location where people see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I heard that. Uh, you you know you we have a desert here in mm -hmm. north of Chile. Yeah. Um, people say that uh, there's a military secret base mm. under the, the desert, so something like, like uh, the Sound 51 log. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The aliens. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens, yeah. Um, well, we, have, we don't have much time left, but uh, we can finish up, and I'll just say that that's true also here in the United States. There um, you know, in the desert of, I don't know, I guess maybe um, Arizona or something, like in this, what we call the southwest part of the United States, there's quite a bit of desert area in different states, and there are, are always people talking about that's where the UFOs um, land, and that's where the government and the military are doing special secret operations with aliens, so... <laughs> That's what a lot of people believe <laughs> is happening here do you? in the desert. Do I, you? <laughs> I don't really think about it that much. <laughs> so I don't think, like, oh, yeah, it's happening. But anything could happen. <laughs> it could be possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> so, But I haven't seen it with my own eyes. So that's all I can say. It's you know. <laughs> you need proofs. <laughs> I need some proof, yeah. But <laughs> if I saw the proof, then I might say, well, see, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. Those are great stories. And uh, yeah. good job with the past tense. You know, every person did a little bit, but for the most part, you guys are doing a good job. And, uh, I, you know, you don't have to think about it too much because you don't want to have to be thinking while you're trying to talk and just let it, you know, let it flow. But uh, when you're reading is a good time to pay attention to it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, a good time. So thanks, guys. Thanks for Thank sharing. You, Thank okay. you, Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Hey, Claudio. Welcome. Hey, Lisa, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. How, how, is, how is Coursera? Uh, how is your Coursera uh, course my uh, going? My Coursera class hasn't started yet. I think it starts um, in like two days or something like that. So um, I'm you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think I haven't received an email yet. I mean, I have received uh. emails, but I wasn't... Uh, paying attention to them <laughs> very closely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Have you have you ever taken a Coursera class? No, but I want to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I, I've been I've been working so hard uh, this last uh, past this last year. So, but uh -huh. I, I was talking to Chao Chao yeah. the, the other day. I'm hey. he he seems. Uh, so into it, uh, so, <laughs> so they they struck me uh, as interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, I can give you the link to the one that 
Hi, everybody. Welcome to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and in this hour, we're going to be having a speaking class, and you guys are going to be practicing speaking in the past tense. So we're going to talk about uh, the different ways that you can use the past tense um, first before we begin, and then we're going to be talking um, telling stories in the past tense. And I'm going to be helping you to make sure that you are using the correct verb uh, tenses when you are talking. So it's a very important skill to have because this is basically the tense that you use anytime you want to talk about something that happened before now. So if it happened earlier this morning or last night or two years ago, it doesn't really matter. You're going to be using this way of speaking so it helps you uh, have better language and you move to a higher skill level that way when you can master this tense um, if you have a reservation for this hour of course you can go ahead and use your reservation now if you don't that I'm gonna be taking uh, I think it's gonna be interesting I just read this uh, lady's book which was specifically about um, learning how, you know how to learn math and science so I am my two older sons are in high school right now and so you know to help them in their math and science but also just in terms of helping my own students and learning in general so that's the the course uh, for that or that's the link right there in the verb link chat. but I know Chow uh, has taken several in that video that I uh, put on my wall, he showed all of his certificates <laughs> of all the classes. <laughs> so, another place uh, where I've taken some classes, and um, hi, Amparo, I see you joined us. Welcome. We're just getting started here. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Have you ever taken a Coursera class, Amparo? You know what? what? No. no. Uh, I'll no. share. Uh, this you. is a really good resource, especially for people who. Uh, you know, these are college level courses and they're free, basically. And um, so this is a course that I signed up for, which is going to start um, on the 3rd, which I guess is Friday. And it's from sponsored by UC San Diego, so that's University of California, San Diego. And the, so the idea is um, you sign up, it's free. You can also pay if you want to get like some credit or a certificate or something. Um, and then they give you the course outline, things that you're going to be learning. You're going to have videos to watch. Uh, there's some like uh, little tasks you can do, quizzes to check your learning, things like that. Um, so it works really well. And that's just one. There's lots of different uh, courses, different topics, things like that. Uh, you know, you can see there's different languages that courses are being offered. Um, and another one that I like, and I'll tell you guys real quick because you might, both of you might be interested in um, another one of these is um, EdX. Why isn't it going there? All right, let's see. EdX.org uh, is another place where they have these, uh, they're called the MOOC, multi, uh, multi, what is it called? Massive Online uh, Classes, whatever. And you have different topics. Have a reservation, then just wait a couple of minutes, and then you will see the join class button. And when you see the join class button up there at the top, then you can join the class. Of course, you do have to be uh, a verbling.com member to be able to join uh, verbling classes, but you can also buy some tickets to classes if you if you aren't sure how many classes you're going to be able to take. You can just um, purchase 10 at a time and see if you use them. Another thing you can do is uh, try the free membership. So if you want to try the free uh, trial uh, membership, you can do that as well for seven days. And then that way you can see whether or not you're going to be able to use the service and what types of classes you like to take and and all of that so if you want to do that you can go ahead and do that um, any 
time. You just have to sign up for the free trial. Uh, we do use the Google, Google Hangouts here, so you do have to have a Gmail account, and then you'll be able to, to join 